Stanford University. How do you solve AX equals B? So here I have a prototype of Class X mobile. This is an idea that goes back into the 50s and maybe 60s. I can just zoom into a lecture that's playing right here and use my fingers to scroll back and forth. Once you get the hang of it, you don't want to stop. <laughs> very complicated. If there's something on the blackboard and you want to have a closer look, you can in fact do that. It's very easy to just zoom into the video and uh, scroll to the left and the right and see the detail that you are interested in. It's the same notion. There's just something very immediate and natural about this type of interaction on mobile devices. I'll just say a flop is a multiply an ad. We use something, very technical term, is called interactive region of interest. The trick is to store the video at many different resolutions on a video server and also break it up into small tiles. We have a track mode here as well, so if you don't want to use your fingers, you can just click on this track mode and now it's just going to show uh, a nicely framed uh, picture. Let's just see where the action is. So here we have a soccer game recorded with a very high resolution camera. Score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. So here on the tablet we can now just zoom in by finger gestures and then pan to, to follow the game. Oh, it was a goal. Fantastic. There are many other applications of the technology beyond sports events and education surveillance, concerts, where you want to be able to look at parts of the stage more closely than others. Today I'm going to give you a quick little lecture on some basic ideas of Marx's theory of society. Education, however, seems to be the ideal application for this type of technology. The video is analyzed and we recognize which slides are shown at what time. This is a very powerful way then to navigate in the video. We go to a particular slide that we are interested in, click on that slide, seek the slide in the video and boom, immediately uh, the video jumps to that particular slide and you can see what the professor said about that slide. All right. So we're going to do numerical linear algebra. We are now at a point where technology can really transform teaching. So hopefully that won't be a barrier. I think there is a fantastic future for the type of technology that Class X represents. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.